Okay, what we have here is a 09 uh, Chevy Suburban with a 5.3 and it's got the 6L80 transmission in it. It's a four-wheel drive Suburban. And the problem we had here was uh, this vehicle came in to the shop. It uh, will not start. Notice right away that the Prindle wasn't, that Prindle lighted up, but the uh, underline underneath with the gear selector wasn't working. So plugged the scanner in and didn't have communication with either the uh, the BCM or the TCM and looked at the wiring schematic and the, the CAN network goes from the DLC connector through the TCM and then to the PCM. <clears throat> so the first thing I did was bypass, unplug the, the TCM which is down by the uh, transmission. We'll take a look here at the transmission I got. Uh, parts transmission over here. This is a 6L80. This here is the valve body and what this is is this is like a, what they would call a mechatronic unit. The TCM is actually right here. It's part of the valve body. It's really as far as I know it's not uh, it's, it probably is separable but I haven't taken the valve body apart yet on one of these to figure out exactly how to do it. So the the CAN network is in series through the TCM to the PCM or the ECM rather, the engine control module. So I put some bypass wires on the connector and looked again at the Virus and then we could communicate with the ECM. So I figured that the uh, TCM, all the powers and grounds down there were good, that that mechatonic unit is burnt out. So what I did was we replaced that, plugged her in and everything was good. The TCM was talking, the ECM was talking, the truck fired up and ran and everything seemed normal. The next morning, the battery was dead, so we, I did a little investigating, figure out what was killing the battery on this vehicle, and came to the conclusion that the TCM was not shutting down. And in fact, when you would pull the TCM fuse, take a look over here at the fuse box, it's uh, the 15 amp fuse right over here is constant power to the transmission control module. Pull that fuse out, and that fuse was and the uh, amperage would drop about an amp and a half from what it was, but it was still too high. It was still hanging up around two amps or so. So then we pulled the, I pulled the fuse on the body control module, the main fuse. We'll walk around here, take a look. The fuse on the body control module, if you, uh, you won't be able to see it in here. But in the side compartment here, it's a 15 amp fuse. I think it's uh, fuse number 15 seems to be the constant keep alive power to the body control module. Pull that out and eventually things settle down here to about 15 amps. So, or settle down to about 10 to, oh, I want to say it's between 10 and 15 milliamps rather with the TCM unplugged and the BCM unplugged. So then I went back and plugged the TCM in and there was no further amp increase. So kind of came to the conclusion that the body control module keep alive memory wasn't working. The other tip to the body control keep alive memory not working was every time I would disconnect the battery and reconnect it, I would get a code P0315 on the engine, which is a crankshaft relearn. And you shouldn't be getting that code every time you disconnect the battery. So something wasn't there was a keep alive memory in the system here that wasn't working and kind of came to the conclusion that it had to be the body control module. So we replaced the body control module, reflashed it, and uh, everything appears to be working normally now. Uh, after replacing the body control module, had to uh, brief or had to use the virus, use the primary or uh, BCM primary key setup for the for the uh, crash detection mo or for the airbag module, went through that and all of our codes are cleared in our body control module, which reflashed to the Suburban specs. The control module, I think, actually came out of a Silverado. So it was a little bit different, had different uh, calibration numbers, but got it calibrated to the proper, uh, proper specs and, uh, or proper calibration and everything now appears to be normal. So. We got this on here. I just had the door open, so our amp draw is kind of high right now. We're about 174 milliamps. But eventually, 
this will drop down to probably 10 to 15. It takes, I just opened the door, I shouldn't have done that, but it'll take, uh, after everything settles down, it takes five to 10 minutes after you shut the key off. If you, hook, if you have your amp meter hooked up, it'll take five to 10 minutes for all the modules to shut down. If it's taking longer than that, there's probably a problem somewhere. Either you got a light that's not turning off or uh, or a system that's not shutting down, but five to ten should be the normal. And the normal parasitic draw on this vehicle seems to be between 10 and 15 milliamps. It's showing 174 right now, but that's again because I just had the door open and some of them woke some of the modules up. Probably woke the door driver's door module up, so it'll be a few minutes before it settles back down. But I've checked it probably five times here, and it settles down to between 10 and 15 milliamps fluctuates a little bit. So that's basically the story of our uh, Suburban here. Uh, I guess that's probably about it. Uh, again, the, the Keep Alive memory of the body control module kept the transmission control module awake. And I think it probably got hot enough from staying on all the time where it eventually burnt out. That's about the only explanation I have for the TCM not working and that led us to the body control module as a primary cause. So I guess that's about it.